Hello everyone, it's Wicked again, and today we're doing another little real-time art tutorial. So, you're going to need color pencils again, uh, but we're going to kind of use all of them, so I'm not going to really display which colors, but you need a pencil, or a mechanical pencil, and an eraser, because so we're going to sketch out our scene first. Okay, so we're going to start down here towards the bottom of our paper. It doesn't have to be a sketchbook paper. You can just use regular paper if you want. But we're just going to start down here towards the bottom. And we're just going to lightly sketch. Now I'm going to press down harder again so that you can see it. And as always, if at any point you need to stop the video, feel free to do so so you can keep caught up. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to lightly start down here in this corner. I'm going to come up some. And you're going to lightly sketch out and come up at an angle and then just kind of round okay so it's going to be the foreground or the front of our landscape that we're going to do in color okay next thing I want you to do is lightly sketch up a little and then you're going to go back And then we're going to put a really sharp curve right here. Okay, I'm going to slide this down some because we're going to start moving up. I'm going to come on this other side over here. And we're going to go up a little. And then curve out. And curve back. And we're going to go up on both sides, curving it. And we're going to take a branch out this way and bring it back. Now come to the front and start to curve it back and then bump it out like that. And we're going to turn it. go down and keep making these little jagged edges come back up okay now I'm gonna come back to this side of the branch and I'm gonna kind of bump down and make this shape and I'm gonna follow it Go this way and then as I turn it down I'm gonna stop here because we're gonna make another branch that goes out so I'm gonna go up on the side this way and we're gonna turn and make a branch go that way this one's gonna be skinnier so I'm gonna come close turn this way and then I'm going to come back and stay close to the line and then kind of thicken it back out over here again and I'm going to go out and come down and I'm going to make it skinny here okay so I'm going to go out go down and make it skinny curve out and up like that and close that one off and then we'll make one more branch comes out this way okay now we're going to come back over here to this side and I'll make another branch so we're going to come up right here so we know that's where the other one's going to start. And I'm going to go ahead and take this part and curve around, make a bump. Take it 
back. Okay, so let's move down here. Let's go ahead and curve and come out and then go up and jump to the other side. Come over and come up and let's make a sharp turn this way. And then let's make a tiny branch here. Okay. Come back, we'll make another bump and come in. The reason why I'm making all these bumps so it's not just all one boring straight line. Okay, come in a little bit like that. Come back. And then we're going to go up. Turn. Go up one more time and make a curve. I'm going to stop it there. Okay? So I'm going to close off all those branch holes. Alright? Now we're going to sketch a basic like outline of our leaves. Okay? So we're going to start down here in this corner. And I want you to just sketch out. It's kind of just, I'm kind of just making it jagged. And I remember to do it lightly, because like I said, we're going to color this anyway. So just do it lightly. And the more movement and kind of jagged sketchiness of it will help to make it more like the outline of a tree. Okay? so often we can put like a triangle shape that comes out just so it looks like there's a leaf and I'm just going to continue making that shape around it going up same color as the tree itself. Now I want to come to this area, put a few extra, okay. Now I'm going to come off this bottom branch here and just continue it over. Alright, so that's our basic outline of that tree. Uh, we can probably, let's do another one right here. Alright, now I'm going to do kind of like that mid-ground. We have a bunch of trees. Um, let's go ahead, we're going to do kind of like a wheat field type scene. So let's go ahead and push that back and just sketch that all the way across and have it disappear behind the tree branch over here. Okay, I'm gonna put, let's move ourselves up. Okay, we're gonna put ourselves some mountain shapes in here. Just sketch that in. Go up, come into the tree. We'll make a big one. And just rise that all the way up. Put another set even farther in the background. Okay, and then let's put one more over here. 
here. Alright. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to add some cloud shapes in here. So nothing crazy or too fancy. So let's do... Do kind of like wispy clouds. I have that shape and put another set in here. across the bottom this way. And do one more. I'm just getting a rough shape of them. Nothing super fancy. Okay, so you should have something kind of like this on your paper. So that is going to be the sketching part and then we're going to do the coloring. Okay. Alright, so the first color we're going to do, I'm going to come down here to the bottom. We're going to knock out this foreground first. Okay. So, the first color we're going to choose is I want you to grab light brown. Okay. I want you to get a light brown. And I want you to come into this whole bottom area here. just want you to fill that in. Okay? You don't have to press down hard. Just kind of lightly holding it. So we don't want to burn through our colored pencils right away. But we're going to just take this light brown. Just fill it in. Let's just continue to go across the whole bottom. light coat. It's okay to have some of this white in there. Kind of like we started with the green pepper last time. This is just our little base coat that's going over it. Okay. Then I want you to grab a dark brown. Okay. We're going to hit up some of these areas. Okay, so I'm going to come to this outside edge. And I'm going to touch that up and darken it. Okay. Every so often, to we darken that out, we can just put almost like these little grass blade shapes. Don't have to do a lot. Like the old saying, less is more. So I'm just going to come in here, add a couple. I'm stop right here. Okay. I'm going to come back and darken this area up. this kind of a, a zigzag so I'm going to come in and then push it back out again okay do it one more time very small and bring it up this way it's almost like we're outlining the most of the shadow area in here <coughs> excuse me okay I'm going to come in here I'm going to put in a couple couple more grass blades in here. Okay. And I'm not pressing down super hard. I am giving it some pressure, but not a lot. Okay. Let's cross some of them up. Alright. Let's continue that over. 
silver. One or two more. And close it off there. Okay. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to put in like two more, maybe four over here. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and start filling out the rest of that. So I'm doing the same thing I did with the light brown. I'm not doing a heavy coat over it. Since we're kind of doing kind of like a sunsetish kind of color, we're going to add one more in here when we're done to kind of help blend it all together. Okay. So let's just go ahead and fill that in. It's okay if you have some of that white area in there. try to keep it all the same direction like see how I started going down that way I don't really want to do that too much so it won't blend very well and you'll just be able to see that streak okay so like I said just finish filling that in it doesn't have to be perfectly clean So, next color I want you to take is going to be your orange. Alright. So, you're going to take your orange. This is going to be our blending color. We're going to go over everything in this orange color. Okay. Now, again, I'm not pressing down hard. Just giving it a light coat. It should be able to stand out a lot more on this lighter area up here. going over the rest of it. It's hitting up the bottom. Okay. Now in a few minutes you might hear a weird noise. That's probably just going to be the pencil sharpener. But instead of pausing the video for every in-between of sharpening my pencils. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, so just forgive the noise. I'm going to finish filling in the rest of this first. That orange color. Okay. So I'm going to sharpen my dark brown again. go back over it one more time. This is the one we're going to push for, for that solid color. So we really want to make sure that we go over those areas and try to fill in more of a solid color. Now again, I'm not pressing down hard at all. I'm just going over it one more time and making sure and I'm not leaving too much of that speckled white shape that you can see on the paper. We're just kind of smoothing over the top of it. And go back over my grass blades as well. So I'm just filling it in, not putting a ton of pressure. Just 
fine a little bit just to fill it in there. Okay. And again, the only reason this area is as dark as it is is because of just the shadow cast in the foreground here. Maybe there's a cloud floating overhead, but it'll help create that distance we want on the stuff farther back in the image. Okay. switch back to my light brown and go over this light region again. Again, not going to apply a ton of pressure. Just going to go back over it, just kind of blend it in. trying to close up as much of that white gap or the little speckles in there that we can. Go ahead and mix that in. that done, what I want you to do is go back to your dark brown again, and I want you to hit up these grass blade edges, and just that top edge, and do the same thing back down here, just kind of go back over area where the grass blades are at. And just kind of darken it up. And again, pause the video if you need to. Okay, so I'm kind of just touching up this bottom area down here. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to this back area here. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is pardon the pencil sharpen, but I'm going to sharpen, sharpen my light brown again. Okay, we're going to come back here to this back edge and we are going to add in some trees. Okay, so I'm just going to color in lightly some tree trunks. Okay. Doesn't have to be a lot. I'm just going to put in a few. Because what will help kind of sell the amount is just the tree leaves themselves. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go along this edge a little bit. And because we're showing depth and distance as we move our way back, our tree trunks are not going to be as tall anymore. They're actually going to get smaller. Eventually, to a point where we're not really going to see them because they're not really the focus of what we're trying to do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep going, but we're going to switch to our orange. Okay, so let me sharpen that real quick. So once your orange is sharpened, what I want you to do is we're just going to kind of do like we do with the brown down here. We highlight some areas. So we're going to kind of come across right underneath these trees here. Okay. 
once I get to about this tree here, I want you to carry it down. Okay. What we're doing is we're kind of putting the ground shadows into play here. Okay. Once we come out, I want you to kind of make this kind of a circle shape. stretched out oval and we'll continue that back here okay and we're going to come back to this like oval shape area like back here on the corner here and I want you to color all this area in okay as we come back to here want you to do is come straight back and fill in that general area okay now come back to this end when you're done just come back to this end over here we're gonna make a very thin strip of white and I'm gonna show you what that's for here in a minute when we're all done okay I'm going to go out, come in some, and then just connect it here. Okay? So we're going to take that and start coloring this whole bottom area in. Okay? Now, as I get closer, I'm going to stop for a second. I want you to switch to your light brown. Okay? I'm going to add a few more. grass blade features in here just to help us add a little bit more okay and then just go ahead and go in behind that with your orange again I'm not pressing down hard just coloring it in okay so I get down to here Okay, I'm going to stop and we're going to make another stretch of white. So see how I'm jumping back and forth across that. I'm going to continue that straight all the way to here and just fill in the rest. Okay. Now this whole back region back here is getting going to get way more of our sunlight so we're not going to do that top color like that up there okay so I want you to grab a yellow and we are going to fill in all those white spaces with yellow okay so just go ahead and take your yellow color that in just to go across all right do the same thing you're going to fill it in and right here and in here come down here to this midsection and do it just like that okay now we're going to take that same yellow I'm going to go over the orange very lightly I'm not going to press down hard at all I'm just going to go over the orange lightly I'm going to spread it out. Okay. So once you've kind of gone over all the orange, I want you to take your light brown again. Okay. And I want you to lightly... lightly go over the top of the orange areas with your light brown. And you're just going to fill it in, kind of like we did with the other one. Go over the top of it. Try to 
smoothing it out. Okay, I'm going to lightly go over that orange over here. Again, when you get close to the edge, kind of do a swirling motion so you don't get such straight lines. And see how it's fading the grass here? All you got to do is just darken that up so you can continue to go over it with your light brown. So go ahead and space that out. And what that's going to do is give us a nice little natural blend effect. It's not completely blended yet, but at least we're going to have all the colors in there that we need. So just continue to go over all your orange. going to lightly use your light brown again okay you're going to very very lightly like I'm holding it with my fingertips here very very lightly go over that yellow okay and you may not see much of a difference on the screen but on your paper you should. It should be a nice light coat of a brown. Okay, you do the same thing over all the yellow spaces. All right. So now that we've done that, we need to come back over our orange regions again with our orange, okay? So we're gonna put just a tad bit more pressure this go around to really just make it solid. Okay, So blending is all about working these colors back and forth until you get your desired effect. So we're really just trying to smooth that out. Okay, So it should start smoothing in. You're trying to close off a lot of that white in there. Again, I'm not putting a ton of pressure. I'm not pressing down super hard. We are trying to smooth it out just a little bit more. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep working around. And remember, I know a lot of this stuff can seem tedious, but you know. A lot of this real-time stuff should be, because art takes time, so if you want it to look good, you have to take your time with it, okay? So I'm going to take my light brown one last time. One last time, I'm going to go over it. So again, applying a little bit more pressure. Not a ton, I'm not pressing down hard. Just enough that I can see a slight darkening of that area, okay? go over all that again. Take your yellow again. Okay. We're going to go over that one more time. This time we're going to close it off by putting more pressure on it, just kind of like what we did with the orange and brown with the second go around. Okay. So we're adding more pressure in there. This next step, because we want it to be more of an even transition, I'm going to go take that yellow, and again, I'm going to go over my orange with that. So that way, if you look right here, I'm pushing out some of it towards that 
yellow region, but making a nice smoother transition with the color. Okay. Alright. Now, if you remember, I said there were going to be some trees, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of well, let me sharpen this first. So we're going to kind of use the uh, the base color that we're shooting for. Uh, with that kind of autumn look to it. So we're going to come in here and we're just going to start. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's grab a light brown. Let's add one more tree trunk in here. So I have one more. Now I want you to come in here and with a very jagged motion, we're going to connect and fill in all these trees. Almost like, kind of like making clouds almost. Kind of puffing them out. And as we work our way down, just filling it in. Okay. So we don't want it to be super perfect. We want a little bit of sloppiness to it, but the main goal is having different shapes come off the tops of them, okay, so we're just filling it in like that, alright, and then we're going to go this whole area here, I'm going to keep building it up, but notice I'm bringing it down lower because it's off in the distance, so I'm going to get closer and closer to the horizon line as I work my way around. I'm just jumping up like this, okay? So I'm just kind of working my way around. Every time I just kind of jump up and put a jack in this. I almost think of it like you're trying to draw like an electricity or anything on something. Okay? And this whole bottom region down here, I'm going to fill in to a point. Now the next thing I want you to do is, let me sharpen this real quick, we're going to go into we're going to go into um, our orange, so we're going to come in and lightly, now we're going to leave the edges top edges of these trees alone. So we want to kind of just fill it into a point. Okay, so I'm not touching this top area, so I want to leave a gap. And this will be kind of where your darker region of your tree is going to be. So I'm just lightly filling that in. I'm not even coloring down hard. If you look in this area, see I can still see some yellow through that. That's okay. That's what we want. All right, so I'm going to push this up. And because it's so faded in the distance, we don't have to worry too much about detail. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing these little spirals. I'm moving my hand like this in a spiral shape and just filling it in that way with almost like swirls. Okay, now down towards this way, I'm going to just stay close to the bottom down here. Maybe come up a little bit every now and then. I'm just going to stay close to the bottom. Okay. Let's keep 
pushing that. Come back up some in these taller areas. Then I'm going to switch back to my light brown. Okay. Now we did these trees in a darker light brown tint. So let's go back over those branches real quick and really fill those in. Because what we're going to do next, we don't want those two colors to match. Okay. So we're going to kind of very lightly hit up this bottom with a light brown that little bit of white that was left down in there. Okay, so I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to come back to this area over here and do the same. Okay, so once that's filled in, we're going to come back over here to our oranges. And we're going to lightly go over that. With our light brown. So we haven't changed colors, We're just using that light brown to work in there. Again, we're just creating the illusion of depth and atmospherics. Trees don't have to be super detailed. It's kind of just intermediary level stuff, so we're not trying to get too, too crazy. Back over orange and spreading that through. So it's not a lot of pressure, it's just a little, just enough for that brown to show up in there. that's done and come back with my orange again and we're gonna really we're gonna color that in again I'm not putting a lot of pressure it's just this time I'm trying to really make sure that it's nice and solid colored in so it's gonna kind of give you a brown orange look go in there and try not to leave any of the, the scratches. We're just trying to smooth everything out. Okay. So just keep working your way down and going over everything. And the top areas of our trees will start to stand out more once we do the mountains in the background. Okay. So once that's done, I am then going to take my yellow and I'm going to blend between the two. So just like we did down here, we were kind of pushing that orange into the yellow doing the same thing here. So I'm just kind of going back over it and kind of really smooth it out and push the colors more evenly. Just keep working your way down the line. Just applying some pressure. Just gonna smooth it out. Okay. So that takes care of all those in the background. Now, if you're wondering why we're not doing the tree yet, 
it's because there's more detail in it since it's closer to us so we're going to kind of save that for last okay so what I want to do now is we want to kind of add uh, the mountain colors so the first thing that I want to do is I want to take a uh, blue color okay so I'm taking a kind of like a true blue or a light blue um, whichever is honestly it's, not, it's fine uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline okay I'm going to outline my mountain tops in that blue Obviously that will change with the sunset scene, but it'll kind of give us that distance feel that we get. So I'm going to slide this up so you can see the rest of the mountains. So I'm just going to kind of go over those. It's very lightly. I'm very lightly tracing over this. I'm not pressing down hard at all. Just going over my pencil work. Okay. Same thing in the back here kind of giving it a blue haze. Okay. Now the farther things go back, the lighter they get, okay? So they won't get it won't be as dark as the stuff in the front, okay? Our atmospheric perspective changes the lighting. It's less and less detail the lighter it gets cuz that haze off in the distance, all right? So we're going to take our light brown again. So I'm going to sharpen this real quick. Okay. Now, we're going to come in here and for each one of these areas of the mountain, right? So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to make these kind of shapes right here. Okay. Let's do, let's stretch this one out a little bit and come down and bring it over and add some jaggedness to it and we'll just bring it back to here. Okay. Come up to this one, do the same, I'm going to come downwards with it. It's all falling behind the tree. Okay. And bring some of it down into here. Just doing these little quick rectangular shapes all right and then we have our last part is up here so I'm going to kind of tuck down this way behind the tree bring that back that way I guess that'll be that lighter color so I'm not going to do anything up there all right so we're going to go ahead and take care of these front mountains so when we do that I'm going to take a light brown and I am going to lightly try your best not to touch the trees over here and I'm going to lightly so I'm going to leave that area white but I'm going to lightly color in the rest let's go over it one good time It's more of a impressionist painting, but with colored pencils. So we're not gonna like draw every rock in this mountain. It's not the point of the exercise. So let's just go ahead and go around our treetops, fill everything in lightly with this brown. And if you notice, it's starting to make your trees stand out more. So if you really just go around those trees carefully and just lightly color in the mountains, it should be okay. Now I'm going back over that blue right here with the light brown. Again, you just work your way around.
pushing back so as you can see I came out of this region so I'm going to stay underneath try to leave those areas white for now just finish coloring it in and I'm going to come up here color over with that blue before I forget about it just come down a little bit come back and finish working my way through make sure that when we're doing this stuff that you don't uh, color in that tree. Okay, so just try your best. Again, I'm going to go over this blue, but try your best just to stay out of that tree as much as you possibly can. Okay, so just color that in. Work your way across. Almost there. what's left uh, back over here so I'm not going to go too far down let's just draw a line here so we can put something else over there to kind of help us parts we want to do inside the tree are these little like triangular shapes and circles that we made that you can see through the tree on. So let's go ahead and fill those in. Okay. Just have certain areas. Now what I want you to do is take that light brown again and go back over the blues. Okay, so we'll continue to go over the blue. All of our mountain shapes here. And just lightly, I'm not pressing down hard. I'm just kind of going over them. take this uh, because of the, the color choice in here so we're gonna we're gonna fill in these areas with a yellow hue okay so these open white areas we're gonna fill in with a yellow hue so just fill those in and you'll see what we'll do with those later Just gonna go ahead and fill those in yellow. Again, try not to get inside the tree. Just do the outside. Okay. So we have that. This bottom area. Okay, I'm going to come up 
here. Um, actually, I forgot. Let's take a light brown real quick. This should be filled in right here. You may have already caught that, but I missed it, so I'm going to fill that in. And I'm going to come up here, do my yellow around. Okay, same thing with this side. Do my yellow around. Okay. So once we're finished with that, this is going to be the stopping point for part one. Okay. So all you're going to do is jump to part two, and we're going to continue on. Okay. So I will see you in a few moments in the next one. All right.